Good morning. I want to take this morning and actually just highlight something about the whole Sermon on the Mount so far. We're, we're getting to this sort of conclusion of the sermon. And uh, there's something I don't want you to miss in the big picture. Jesus is, is, is black and white in the sermon. There is not a gray that Jesus articulates in the sermon, and that is by design. Because Jesus is placing a fork in the road and he wants them to go one way or the other. We talked a little bit about the fork in the road, but I wanted to just give you a textual observation at like 100,000 feet to reinforce the big picture of the Sermon on the Mount before we wrap it up in conclusion in the ensuing uh, thought for the days. So throughout the sermon, you have seen Jesus do, a, a, do something repeatedly. And that is, he just says, you have two options, A or B. You have two places you could lay up your treasure, in heaven or on earth. You have only two masters, right? God or mammon, you can serve one or the other. Uh, there's two ways of looking at that master. You can love him or you can hate him or despise him. There's two gates, two ways, narrow and broad. Um, there's two destinies. There's two trees, right? There's a bad and a, and a good. Uh, there's two kinds of fruit, bad or good. There's two foundations. That's what he's going to get to next. But the point is this. It's only two. It's only two. And I, I just want to reinforce to you that in your life, you're all in or you're all out. Now, I, I know that practically we're a mixed bag. I, I get that. But what I mean is, in principle, you can't think of your life as having a third option of a sort of mixed offering. You don't get it. The op you can't in your mind conceive of uh, the kind of life where I can be part way in and part way out. Lukewarmness does not have its place in the rivers of the kingdom. And so... I just want to reinforce to you before we get to the conclusion of the sermon. You're in or you're out. Jesus is definitive and we need to be as well. Take that seriously. It's the big message of the sermon. Take care.